Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to um, download the a material library for Blender. Do, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, well, I know for a matter of fact the more modern Blender versions the material lab, the libraries work all, all across them so I assume they would work across all Blender, all Blender um, versions but uh, the version I've been using them on is 2.54 and I'm starting to use 2.55 today since it was released yesterday. Now you just could go to blender.org that's the main blender site then you go into download resources and now we're going to find material libraries now you can either go open material repository um, well, I'm just uploading some videos so it might take a little while for it to load up but um, a material library is just hmm don't know why Firefox is being lame today Well, apparently it's currently offline anyway, so um, yeah. But this Blender Materials Library right here is probably my most commonly used material library. You just click on it. You go save. Let's say I want to save to desktop. Just click save there. I think it's only like two meg or something. Three hundred kilobytes. Uh, just inside that, minimize that, and as you see, it's it's a actual Blender file. Now let's just open up Blender quite quick, and now all we have to do is um, link slash append from library, go desktop, and you see that Matlib version one or two, and you just go material. And there they are. This is an easy way if you don't want to spend a lot of time uh, making your own materials, just get one out of here. And the reason I'm giving this video is because I don't make a lot of my own materials, I just use the, these ones. And if you have them, it just gives you, it just lets you keep up uh, easier. But as you see, there is a fur library, another one, um, varied collection. Um, I've also used this Swe Blend. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, but it sounds it looks like Swe Blend Material Library Volume One. Just click on it, and it actually gives you a preview before you download it and you just go download link right, it's right down the bottom and you just go save save this to desktop again just minimize everything now that one's a bit bigger And now the deal with this one, you have to extract it. Now I'm using, I think it's WinRAR. I'm not too sure what other programs can do it, but WinRAR is my favorite. And as you see, it's just another blend file, like the Material Library version 102. So um, yeah, it's it, it's pretty important to um. Or if you're going to be following my tutorials, it's pretty important to download material libraries. Or if you just don't really want to spend a lot of time making your own. And I believe... Uh, there, I know there's other ones there. Just um, mess around with it. There's also these textures over here. But this um, Blendo resources page is very good. Because... Um, it gives templates, Python scripts, effects, uh, 
external renders. I don't really external render. You only really need to do that if you are doing very, very big um, files. And I don't really do it. But material libraries are probably one of the most useful things in this Blender references. So, uh, thanks for watching and um, uh, comment, subscribe, just whatever. Thanks, see ya.